let me get up, man. Lord, thank you for waking me up this morning. Pray that I'm gonna have a good day. Everything is gonna go well. We're gonna make it make it do what it do, I guess. In Jesus' name, amen. Every day I wake up, I thank God for my life. I set a goal for myself every day to go out and be the very best that I can be. You know, just like any other person, I have setbacks. And some days are pretty rough. But I recognize that struggle is just a part of this journey that we call life. So I keep my head up and my best foot forward. I also know that at the age of 21, I'm far from a real man. But my ultimate goal is to become a true, real man someday. Yeah, so I decided to go out and find the true definition of a real man. So on my journey so far, I've learned that the journey itself is not an easy one. I mean, the sun ain't gonna shine every day. That's just a fact. Sometimes it's gonna be dark and cloudy. Shoot, it might even rain. But it's all good. When it does rain, at least your car gonna be clean. <laughs> but seriously though, everything ain't gonna be easy, man. But you'll get through it. Just keep pushing. You got it. In 2015, gender, race, and age play a big role in determining a real man. So what I did was, I went out and interviewed males and females between the ages of 21 and 70. Here's what I found. Hey, y'all ready? Hey, you down there with the, with, the, with the cell phone texting, you ready? Hey, homegirl, you ready? Hey, without further ado, I wanna welcome y'all to what makes a real man. So in your definition, what is a real man and what does a real man look like? In my definition, what makes a real man, uh... Um, what makes a real man is, um... I think a real man is someone who's able to have independence, who's able to stand up for something that they believe. For instance, I feel like a real man is a man who is comfortable with himself. He puts God first. Um, he trusts in God. He believes in God. Um, I feel like a real man should be a supporter and some sort of a backbone for a woman. They make sure that they follow through when they say they're going to do something. Um, what a real man looks like. Well, of course a real man looks like me. <laughs> but no. Uh... Okay, you know how some people say that a real man it's supposed to look like really strong or always be like serious. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like it's okay for a man to, um, you know, have a, have a sensitive side. Real man looks like they have, you know, your pants, you know, on your waist. You know, you don't have them sagging. A real man, you know, he don't always have to wear a suit and tie, but he presents himself as the way he wants others to perceive him. Okay. So what's the difference between a boy and a man? Has to start from being a boy. When you're a boy, you do things differently and you look at the world in a different perspective. A boy makes decision most of the time to please the moment. The boy should be the person that gets all his, um, his running around, his laughter, his jokes. All that stuff should be done when you become a man. A man is gonna handle, you know, uh, um, problems, you know, in a different way, in the sense that, you know, you think before you, you act. When you become a man, that childish stuff should be away. You know, running the street, partying, chasing women, um, you know, that should be put away. You think of the consequences of your actions, you know. Mm -hmm. um, when you're making decisions, you look at long term. A man is fully grown. <laughs> <and> <laughs> he is fully grown. He's, he's not into the childish ways. As he's growing, he eventually grow into a man. Boys chase after boy things, you know. Men chase after real things. And and um, and a real thing would be a family, a goal, something to, to work towards. Um, 
you find that uh, most um, men uh, are achievers. Most boys don't even care what happens the next day. He's He's refined. He's well, my man is gorgeous on top of all that. No, <laughs> <laughs> but he um he's respectful of everybody, and of course, like I said, his queen comes first, no matter what. Even mm -hmm. if if there's one of something left, she gets that, and then she'll be respectful of him and give her give him half of that. Okay, so how do real men treat women? Real men treat women like flowers. I think a real man treats a woman like he would treat his mother. Well, with respect, you know. Um, even even if the woman doesn't respect him. You feed them spiritually. You feed them emotionally so that therefore they can do the same for you. A real man should treat a woman with respect, decency, not to be banging on her. A real man should, should treat them with respect. And then with the real, when the women don't respect them, I, could, I think he should leave them alone, you know. But that, that should be top of the list. Always the golden rule is treat people the way you want to be treated. So, if he does that, uh, he's doing the right thing. Okay, so if you can only choose one word, what word would you use to describe a man? I don't know what that one word would be. That's crazy. I never really thought of that. I guess the best way I can describe it is in one word. Okay. A real man is... Powerful. <laughs> Happy. Noble. Determined. Again, I think I would just have to say responsible. Faithful. Be true to your word. Let your yes be yes and let your no be no. Treat people like he think the Lord would want him to treat them. Wait, what's the word for that? Not knowledgeable, Describe it. but... Not Smart? But Intelligent? I don't know. It's some kind of... It's some sort of power behind a real man. I really don't know how to explain You can do it like that. Go for it. Whatever whatever you want to say for real. Okay. Um, I don't really have one word to define how a real man should look or what a real man is. But I feel like a real man should have some sort of power behind him. He should mm -hmm. know, you know, just about his way of life. He should know about a different variety of things. He should be willing to explore. And he should just be open-minded. Don't let other people determine how you're going to feel and how you're going to be. Take a look in the mirror at yourself and ask yourself, what do I want to be? Do not rush, you know, into trying to become a man. It comes with age. It's some kind of wisdom. Mm -hmm. It comes with age. You're not going to get it overnight. It takes time. And until that time, don't force it. Don't push it. Another thing is, to make sure that you are a leader and don't follow everybody, but be wise about the people you follow. But don't learn from one man. You need to reach out to as many as you can because there's different characteristics that you can get that'll help build your character and make you be the person that you need to be. When you wake up, determine that you're going to be happy. Determine you're going to be successful. And whatever people may say throughout the whole day, you just keep in mind that you are the destiny of your own making. If you believe in yourself and trust yourself and rely on what you say and the things you do, you're going to be a man in less than no time. That's where success lies, when you have a man who can help you and be your role model, and that's a powerful role to play. The lion is the most powerful animal in the wilderness. You can't function by yourself, you know. Uh, no man is an island. And um, I think that... Um, you still need that companionship uh, to be able to, to really make yourself well-rounded. Young men need to realize and understand you can be the key voice to make changes to bad behaviors. In order to move forward, you need to know your history so history won't have repeat again. Her. Reading and knowing where you came from it will benefit you. In the 60s and 70s, they had less and they did more. Hmm. Now we have more and we're doing less. 
you need to know where you want to go in life and work to get there. That's the most important. Life is about making a difference, helping and pulling somebody else. It's not about you only. It's helping each other. So, that's about it. Any other words? Um, I need to be a roommate. <laughs> 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 that's it. So now you know the definition of a real man. The question is now, what are you going to do with that information? You've seen my journey. You've seen where I came from and where I'm going now. The question is, how can you help other people out? How can you give back and change the world around you? Because I can't do it on my own. I need your help. While I'm out traveling, doing my thing out here, I need you guys to do the same thing. Go out, find real men, learn from them, you know? Those who aren't real men, encourage them. You know, make the world a better place. Help people out, because it's not about me. It's not about you. It's about the whole world. It's about everybody. So give back, you know? Make the world a better place. Last but not least, be a real man.